and this particular line My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. Range, bump it. Range, high. Good job. Do our handshake. High five. Knuckle. Elbow. Blow kiss. All right. I'm back. I got sinuses. But I'm going inside this room where the sinuses ain't going to bother me. What up? What are we doing? So, chill. Oh, it feels good in here. Oh, it's a little warm in my Oh, voice. man, you ain't got your hat on. I don't have a hat on. Oh, we're rocking it. Rocking. So, somebody said they like my hair. Yeah. I'm not going to name any names. I heard, I heard a few people saying that. <laughs> so we need to have an episode with the fan blowing and Tony's hair just <laughs> like Fabio. Oh. Uh, anyway. Oh, I'm going to have sniffles in this, this episode with the pollen. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, All right, we're them. good. All right, so Craig made a funny. I did. While we were eating cake, he said, "Since we're doing, or since we're eating cakes, we should talk about pies, cakes, and pies." Pies. So let's talk about pies. <laughs> so anyway, uh, sure. Let's talk about some some pies. So I'm going to show you um, just some whole back pie stuff. No, let's do it. No particular order, just completely random, and it is what it is. It is what it is. So first, we're going to start off with uh, peach pie. And apple pie, and then cranberry pie, and then what we got here? <laughs> All right, so uh, this has not been the best eater that I've ever had. That's a pretty big snake for me not to be a best eater. Yeah, well, but this is, however, one of my favorite pies. This is a fire inchy pie. A banana cream pie <laughs> with no banana in it. Kind of looks fire like a, inchy it's pie. a banana pudding pie. <clears throat> banana pudding pie. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be so good. Kind of like. Kind of like my Twinkie cake I was talking about making. Yeah. Y'all, y'all stay tuned. Cooking with Craig, I'll be making that. <laughs> so, anyway, cool. Uh, I like it. Yeah. I really like how he, the fire pod is. I mean, uh, the fire inchy pod is almost always medium um, white, and the reason for that is fire pod is usually a high watt, and inchy pod is normally a low watt. So when you put them together, you end up with a medium pie that's science y'all yep simple math simple math so, but like. other than just the medium uh pattern and versus white i also like the color complex of this it's very uh very mellow it's like not really dark but it's not really like bright or banana like so it's just one of my overall it's favorites. like it's got a nice little patina to it yep yeah nice little fade job and i love the inchy stuff because of the eye bands that's right so I like the way that the... See your eye bands? The head and the neck look. Don't so. bite me. Cool. There we go. All right. Mm. Speaking of uh, itchy bite, let's check out this little beauty. So this is... Let's see if anybody can even guess it before I say it. It's been on the show before. <laughs> Blackhead itchy pie. So... But wait, Tony, I don't see any pie on it. Yep. So it's right there. You have very, very, very little white. Look at that. The saddles are very tiny towards the front half. I mean, if, if you've seen that part of the snake, you you almost wouldn't be able to tell it's pied. Yeah, it's a completely different snake. You can actually see right here. Yep, where the first band starts yeah, to come. and then right there with the second band. Yep. You're a double bander. So it's a really a uh, really cool looking snake. Um, the blackhead pod, or excuse me, blackhead inchy pods seem to vary a lot. Um, to me, this is probably the best looking one I've seen, but I could be a little partial too. I like it. 
but anyway really cool uh blackhead usually has a lot of pattern on it uh inchy has a lot of pattern on it so when you uh join the two together you end up with almost no white and that's what we have here so but speaking of no white i swear if you show me a no white pod guess what what it's a no white pod how are you even a pod <laughs> so unfortunately this girl's in deep shed um is, but this, is this like a sugar-free pod or something or it ain't got no white no white so this is a leopard pod and she's also 100 percent hit for desert ghost okay so from the top you can't even really tell that she's even pod she's a big girl but when you flip it over yep Flip over. Oh wow. Yep. Yep, you pod. You a damn under pod. Mm -hmm. Undercover pod. Undercover pod. So anyway, this is a uh again leopard pod. Hundred percent hit desert ghost girl. That has almost no white. Look there. And now you know. Which is actually very unusual for a leopard pod, because normally a leopard pod they is, throw uh, high they throw white. high whites. Mm -hmm. Right. So kind of a weird weird thing going on in this one so i dig it she's pretty hopefully it's the head desert goes bringing the all that pattern back out but is she breeding this year uh i think she's about 1300 grams okay uh, i think i'm gonna wait till next year just let her get a little bit more size on her yep better safety sorry yep. i don't push my girls too much so that's good i'd rather her get a uh seven or eight egg clutch versus a five or six egg clutch that's right so. that's right just me personal. I don't so, have a problem with people breeding them at 12 or 1300 grams, but uh, I just don't normally do it. Right. That makes perfect sense. So that is a no white pod. Yep. All right. So what's next? Another pod. Another pod. So while we're on the itchy kick, and I think this girl just recently shed, so she's looking awfully good. Oh, very nice. Yep. This is a Super OD inchy pod. Super OD inchy pod. Again, almost no white. Camera is totally not making out this cool peachy color. Yeah. Yeah. So. Look at her little white tail. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Really unique looking. Uh, so I could get into pods like this. Yeah. Yeah. It gets it gets the pod in your collection, but it's not just taking it away. Right. You know, it's not taking all the markings away from it. Right. So I can I can dig that. I can see. I can see that super low white. Yeah. You know, it's just like a just a touch of pod. Yeah. Let me let me yeah. go get this bigger girl. So since Craig's talking about the pattern right. in pod, this has almost no pattern. So this is uh just a Mojave pod girl. Mm-hmm. And uh she is breeding for us this year. With her little spot. Not all the pods, you know, have a lot of patterns. Some of them are still high white. That's right. But see this one's pretty as well. Oh yeah. Again, it, it's it's all about what you're what you're kind of looking for. Exactly. Uh, the other one that we showed, I like it with the low white. Now, if it had all the high white like this, it probably wouldn't mm -hmm. look look as appealing to me. Yep. So Mojave and Mystic both have a very high white pattern for the most part. But check this out. Look at what Blackhead done to the Mystic pod. See how much more pattern just by adding Blackhead. Yep. So the blackhead brought all the pattern back into that. So Mystic Pod normally looks like the Mojave Pod, but blackhead brings all that pattern back into it. I love the way this snake looks. Mm -hmm. So I like the medium pods. I like being able to see the saddles. So she's got dots too. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, it just enriched the color just a little bit more, bringing it out. Yep. You're starting to see a little bit of the pattern on that part right there. And to give you an idea of what the blackhead pod, so almost no white on this blackhead That's pod. Right. So you mix this with That's, this one. There you go. Mix this with this one, and you get this. Yep. Just that simple. She just needs some love. There you go. Now she feels safe. Look at that. So, that is one one of the things that I really enjoy about working with pods. Um is the fact that you can mix these genes and you get these different variations of the whites, you know, high white or low white, 
and none of them are exactly the same. So what you're saying is there's many flavors of pods. There are many flavors. There we of go. Pods. I like the one that's right there, but we're not gonna show it. <laughs> I saw it the other day, and I was like, it's the only one left. Yeah. It's the only one left, and I was like, okay, if it doesn't sell, I'll buy it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, while these girls are being good, I'll you say that, up. and then they start striking when you turn your back. <laughs> Um, this is actually a black pastel pod. Oh, now that now you're talking my language. I like the black pastel. So, normally black pastel has almost no pattern. Yeah. Um, but we waited on getting black pastel pod into our projects um, for the simple reason that I wanted to find one that I felt like the lineage would produce more pattern than the normal black pastel pods. Right. And this particular line um i believe is going to throw more patterns in the black it, uh, black pastel pods than normal so okay that's why we picked this girl up so yeah she's good looking too yep, yep. anyway uh that's I, an, that's an episode about pods that's an episode about pods let's go eat some more cake let's go eat some more cake this one's my friend Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe. Bye!